So if I'm leaving town for three weeks, what do you do with all these rattlesnakes? It's actually a lot easier than it sounds. And that's because uh, first the time of year is easy. It's the middle of summer. And the other part is that these are all native animals that uh, would be doing something similar to what I'm about to do in the wild anyway. And that is called estivation. So when it is really hot outside, like it is right now, it's going to be about 110 degrees here today. The snakes do is they just pick a hole in the ground where they can get down deep under all this stuff and they hide away. Those sites may be selected because they are cooler than the surrounding areas, because they have more moisture than surrounding areas. There's a lot of reasons why a snake might choose an estivation site, but essentially what I'm going to be doing with my snake room is just like we prepare them for brumation or hibernation in the winter, I'm gonna prepare them for estivation in here in the summer. So what that means is I'm gonna be adjusting the temperature so it is warmer in here than I would normally keep it, but I'm turning off their heat lamps but keeping the UV on. It's gonna be automated so that they're basically going to just kind of hang out in slightly warmer conditions than they would normally keep without the basking, so they're not doing that anyway right here. Uh, gonna turn off the lights and put everything in automation mode, basically. They're gonna sleep through it, just like they would in the winter. That's another reason I have all the electronics in the outside of the enclosure, because I can just do things like this, like turning off the heat, but leaving the UV and ventilation on while I'm gone without having to actually get in here and mess with a, uh, a snake. If this were in the spring, I wouldn't be doing this, but this time of year, this is exactly what all these animals are doing anyway. So it fits perfectly. It's the safest way for me to do this while I'm gone anyway. So I'm just gonna work with their natural behavior instead of trying to force something else on them. Very easy, very safe. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good, thanks. He is just around the corner, yeah. Over here? Over here? Yes. Oh, okay. This is where he's been the last day yes. or so. Totally. Oh, hey, buddy! Oh, there's two. Oh, there is? Yeah. It's a nice little nook, I guess. Hey, buddy, you're fine. Wow, you're really striking. Okay. I'm sorry. I'll get the same, too. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. You got that much calm. Wow, they're different in color, it's crazy. So yeah, it looks a little damp, so maybe it's just kind of like a nice spot to hang out. All right. Oh, whoa, buddy. Come on now. Hey, song. Good girl, you're fine. You go, hey, you just strike me everything you can. That's, you go in there. All right, later. Your friend is a friend of me. Oh, okay. Good too, you learning from them. All right, see ya, buddies. All right, well. I didn't think I would get a call so soon, but tis the season. Um, I just released my snake here from Alatugi, and now a rattlesnake uh, just hanging out on the patio. I guess I'm gonna go grab it for her. Hey everybody, I am headed out to Carefree right now to go remove two snakes out of the side of a yard, I think. Don't have too many details, but I'm headed there now. So this time of year, snakes aren't really hanging out with each other to be with each other. It isn't necessarily breeding season for most species of rattlesnakes or populations of rattlesnakes here in Arizona. But the reason they are together is kind of the same reason I am around a lot of other people at Walmart or Circle K. It's not because I necessarily want to hang out with those people. It's because we're all there to get gas or to go get groceries. So snakes being together right now usually means that there's going to be a place that benefits them like or a reef source like maybe a deep dark hole that gets them out of the heat, maybe uh, water, or maybe there is a pest control problem in the area, a lot of food. I'm guessing that since there's more than one snake on this call, there's gonna be a resource like that. Hi, there you are. Got some snakes, huh? He's a good three feet long. Okay. And he went 
Oh, yep, I see that one. Yeah, that one is the smaller of the two. Okay. He, the other one now has gone behind there. The oh, yeah. Is with the water. With the water. Okay, well, see where it, we it's could, coming out that way? Yeah. Okay. So this guy came unbeknownst to us. There were two. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> see, I thought we just had one big one. My husband wanted to catch it with his butterfly. Oh, butterfly net probably isn't the best option. No. Here's our first one. Number one, see this wonderful clamp he has? <laughs> see that clamp? Yeah. Look. Yeah. Can, would this move? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I hear a rattle. I hear him. Um, we couldn't put the water in. How many layers of them are there? It looks like it's a couple, huh? Uh, oh, let me do the hose thing. He curled up inside one of the Perhaps. Hey everyone, headed to a call in Litchfield Park. Got a rattlesnake on a back patio and it is hot, hot, hot. I just got in my car and everything is like on fire. My skin keeps touching the seat and it's like a million degrees. It keeps burning me. Uh, but I want to get this rattlesnake. It's just enjoying a nice shady patio right now. Thanks for coming. Yeah, you're very welcome. First one for you, I'm guessing, yeah. huh? First one. Here it is, right behind the skateboard. All right. Did he rattle at you as you came when out? Me, when I came out, because the, my two girls had come out to get in the pool. Yeah. And the oldest one was like, rattlesnake. Oh, no. And I came out thinking, oh, it's going to be something small. And yeah. Like, oh, and that's when I heard the, the rattle. Yeah. Buddy. Oh, that's it, huh? Just like that. Jesus. Let's go. Come, come nope. get a shot of him in the bucket. Dang. That's pretty big. Yep. So some recommendations. <laughs> um, obviously you don't have any vegetation for them no, to hide under. Not. This is about it. Yeah, now I, you got kids and clear. stuff. That's yeah. scary. So, and a bunch of toys. If you can get anything elevated off the ground so you're not providing a lot of sh shelter and stuff and inform them that, you know, obviously they're going to hide behind anything that's sheltered and shaded. So they okay. went and grabbed the skateboard, you know, it's right. dangerous and they won't always rattle. So basically this is like the only area that's like livable for a snake. Okay, so I guess they could go snakes. under there, you know. Okay. I mean, they don't live forever, but I'm going to say like right now, if he's out in the sun for like 10 minutes right now, dead. Uh, yeah, that's why I said he's probably gonna stay on the patio, you know, in the shaded safe. area, because he's safe. Hi, this little buddy here. Did you get a drink or anything? It is hot out. Got a nice pack right now, hidden in there. All right, bud, let's get you in there. in there, okay? See you, bud. I hear it a little bit better. That is a large one. Oh my goodness. Okay. Woohoo! Okay. Holy Goliath. So I'm right, he's a good sized snake. Oh yeah. Two good sized snakes. <laughs> oh. Woo, nice, nice spotting. I was sitting there digging. Must have just 
But I am going to kind of bang around a little bit over there. I wish you would. Just I don't. I'm not sure. But that, I'm sure that's the one that was on the patio. That's the one I saw at the big yeah. tail there. All right, here we go. I got a nice deep pack rat nest right there, and uh, we're going to release these snakes here. Two large diamondbacks. I have a nice little spot right there. Hey guys. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. You wanna do this yourself or what? There we go. There's the first one. That is a large diamondback. And then, here's the other one. You can go right here. Hi guys. All right, so just as I suspected, those rattlesnakes are right where rattlesnakes wanna be this time of year. There was water from the leaky hose, there were rodent holes, and there was shade, and then there was underground access. So it's a perfect place for rattlesnakes to sit out the hot months and wait for the monsoon. All right, people, what is up? This one called in by a pest control company that we work with. They're doing some uh, rodent prevention at this property and they found a snake. That's where I'm headed right now. There's also two gopher snakes like right on top of it. Oh, really? Okay. This will be interesting then. Because right. we're plugging holes uh, for pack rats that have gone in the walls. Okay. And so the gopher snake about touched him and he went up in this hole after, but the rattlers right there to your left in between these rocks, they're all right under that stem wall. Okay. So kind of piled on top of each other. So I removed these rocks and found the rattlesnake and put them back so those. Gotcha. So you got here obviously. Gotcha. Okay, well. I'm gonna worry about this guy first. I know, buddy. This hose over here. There we go. Absolutely not. Okay. Go ahead and just see if I can coax this guy out of here. Move this rock so I can guarantee we don't have another rattlesnake. Have you guys checked out our YouTube channel yet? No, we're about to, no. No, I'd like to. Yeah, well, if you'll be on it if you want. <laughs> I gotcha, you're gonna have to go in here with your friend. You're getting along for a second, so don't make him mad. Come on. Right. There's one. Here's the other guy. There you go, buddy, come on out. Yeah. Oh, look, he's getting a drink. He's like, thank you for that water. Come on out, buddy. How many times have you been bit? Um, by a rattlesnake, none. Okay. But by, by only by stuff that can't send me to the hospital, you know. Doesn't doesn't hurt that bad or what? N um, not that it doesn't hurt that bad, but. but get back in there, buddy. Get back in there. All right. Perfect. Wow. Well, that is a very small hiding spot for three snakes. So that was pretty exciting. That is. Not as uncommon as you think. A lot of different species of snakes will intermingle, especially this time of year in the desert. Uh, shade is very hard to find. If there's available shade and available, you know, water or places to cool down and stay away from the sun, a lot of times snakes will cohabitate those places. I think I'm gonna put them down here. What do you guys think? That's a pretty good spot. And they got pack rat nests all around here, so so we're gonna help them out a little bit there, though. He's gonna make his way into that hole, and now he's got one more gopher snake here. Oi! He just wants to get back in the bucket. That's not where you should be, friend. Got another gopher snake there. Perfect. And now we've got an angry rattlesnake. 
So there we go. He's gonna go ahead and slide on in there. No. All three of the snakes in there. They've got a good spot to hang out for the rest of the day until they decide to start moving around again. But how about that? A three for one. Called in as one snake, ended up getting three. I'm gonna walk back to the car and get some water because I'm hot and I'm sweaty. Thanks for watching. Peace. <laughs>